we saw how to translate ECAD files from Allegro to Ansys SI Wave and HFSS 3D layout. We also created a subdesign of the Xilinx board and exported it to Ansys Q3D Extractor, and then to Ansys HFSS. Now we'll import the full Xilinx board and also its cutout into Ansys SpaceClaim. With Ansys SpaceClaim, you can create, edit, and repair geometry without worrying about underlying technology. With SpaceClaim, working with 3D modeling software becomes fast, easy, flexible, and rewarding, no matter where in the workflow you need it. For example, this figure shows the electrothermal and structural analysis of a printed circuit board using various tools from ANSYS. SpaceClaim is used in this workflow as a bridge between ECAD, SI Wave, and ANSYS Mechanical. We'll import the full Xilinx board and also its cutout into ANSYS SpaceClaim. Create a copy of the Xilinx board. For the cutout of the Xilinx board, we'll use the polygonal plane extent that we generated automatically in SI Wave and export it as an ANF file. To do this, go to Tools and select Clip Design. Click Yes for SI Wave to automatically clip this Xilinx board along the plane extent. In this confirmation dialog, click No. So here's the cutout after clipping it from the Xilinx board along the polygonal extent. Fit the view. As expected, you can see that all the nets we want to export exist in this subdesign. Rotate this cutout as needed. Go to the Export tab. Select ANF. From the drop-down menu, pick the appropriate file format. For this example, select Allegro format. Save the ANF file with a desired file name. The Message Manager displays that the file has been written as an ANF. You could also export the data to an AEDB file. Now open ANSYS SpaceClaim. Go to File, SpaceClaim Options. Under File Options, select ECAD. Notice there are two import modes, Layout Geometry and Layer Topology. When you want detailed geometry of the traces and the vias, use the Layout Geometry import mode. This mode is generally used for importing cutout subdesigns for electrical analysis. The Layout Topology mode brings in models in a simplified form for structural or thermal analysis. For instance, use this mode when you want layer metallization mapping, which is a simplified yet accurate way to represent chip, package, and board models in ANSYS Mechanical. Since our subdesign is just a small portion of the Xilinx board, we'll use the Layout Geometry import mode. Go to File Open. Select the ANF file. Click Open. The subdesign opens in SpaceClaim as shown. Next, open a new design document in SpaceClaim. This time, set the ECAD file options to Layer Topology. We'll import the entire Xilinx board in its simplified form. Go to File Open. Navigate to the BRD file and select it. Set the file filter to Cadence SPB. Obviously, this filter is valid for any Allegro format. Click Open. The Xilinx board is imported in its simplified form as shown. Deselect components in the structure tree. This will hide the component footprints. Press the scroll wheel of the mouse and drag your mouse to rotate the geometry and align the board along an edge to see all the layers clearly. Use the spin, pan, and zoom options to adjust the view of the board. In the structure tree, select the first layer unnamed and the bottom layer, or just do Ctrl A to select all the layers. There are 32 bodies as indicated in the toolbar. For each of the 16 layers of the Xilinx board, there is an unnamed body to represent the dielectric layers. You can assign FR4 to these objects once you import this geometry into ANSYS Mechanical. Clearly, the BRD file has opened correctly in ANSYS SpaceClaim. Another very easy way to import a BRD file is to simply drag and drop it into SpaceClaim as shown here. You can also open an MCM file using this simple drag and drop approach. This concludes Part 7. We learned how to convert ECAD files from Cadence SPB tools to ANSYS. Part 8 covers translation from other popular layout tools.